Hey guys, Barry here from TGS with another Assassin's Creed Valhalla Xbox Series X live stream. Overall for this game, we're getting up there. It is number 16. We are going to be focused on completing regions once again. Kind of boring, but necessary work to leveling up our character to be ready for the rest of the story. So uh, what we're going to do is continue on in East Anglia, I believe, and we'll go from there. We've been uh, kind of working all around the region lately in England and... Uh, just going to continue working on that until we catch up to their current level. Once we're caught up, we'll go ahead and uh, move back to the story. But I think today's back-to-back -back session is most likely going to be dedicated to dealing with mopping up the map. So uh, it'll have some fun side missions, but a lot of traveling, a lot of finding you know, chests, stuff like that, solving little puzzles. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, it's helped me level up my character tremendously. If the game's going to take up to 100 hours, we're ha over halfway there, so uh, I hope that's true. We have a lot to cover, as this is the first stream of the week for the week of uh, January 18th, 2021. So I'll try and keep it short, but as always, first stream of the week up to 10 minute intro. Every other stream, usually under 5. Honestly, our normal intro is 2 to 3 minutes, just uh, today we have a lot to cover due to sub request. So I'm going to go right down the list, as always, and uh, this way anyone who watches this for our weekly updates will know what's up. As always, if you're not interested in the update, if you're watching live, you, you can always swing back in 10 minutes. Or if you're watching the video, you know, non-live, just push it 10 minutes forward to save yourself uh, listening into this. I usually don't load until I'm done the intro, but I figured it won't hurt. Maybe let's climb a wall or something so I can sit up high so uh, we don't get attacked by a wolf while we're trying to cover all the data we got to do. We had a three-day weekend, but we're starting off the week like a normal week, so... A little bit different on the times, but I'll explain that all in just a moment. It's going to be an odd week and a short week, but at the same time, it's going to be a full week. I don't know how to explain it other than that. So first thing, it's the uh, you know MLK Day, if you're in the U.S., so uh, it's like a holiday, and uh, yeah, people I don't think outside the U.S. celebrate it anywhere else, uh, but either way, in the U.S., it's a three-day weekend for us, so we held the you know Rainbow Six Siege pop-up as well as UNO last night. So I just want to throw it out there. They were pretty fun streams. The Siege on Friday was a disaster. Siege last night went a lot better. Wish I played a little bit better in some of those matches, but we were playing pretty late at night. So, uh, you know, can't be fully surprised. Anyway. Either way, to uh, hop in. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do our usual lineup for the intro real quick. So plan for the day is to play this back-to-back. -back. So we started right around 2.15, 2.15 to 4.15, 4.45 to 6.30. Going to take up to a 15-minute loss. As uh, I really want to get off by 6.30, I have a lot to do today, so we're going to let ACV take a little hit. We have over 50 hours in this game. I think it'll be okay if we uh, take 15-minute leave. Moving on to uh, you know plan for the game. We are working towards, let's see, just want to bring it up, 1,000 gamer score at 130. But once again, guys, I'm doing the long, tedious, you know, 30-hour achievement up front. And then we'll knock out all the easy stuff later on. You know, one stream will probably get over 10, 20 achievements out of the uh, remaining 39, so just throwing it out there, I'm not, you know, grinding any of these little ones for now. You kind of get a lot of these done just by doing the, the map completion anyway, so got to work towards it anyway. Otherwise, uh, before I go over the schedule, would appreciate if you like and sub, website thegamersociety.com, two clubs on Xbox, the Gamer Society Fan Club, TJ Screenshot Club, we also have our social description, support links, merchandise, Patreon, Razor Stores, I'm Razor Streamer, rep sports with a coupon code, link if you're looking to buy the game. So, uh, that is that. Let's see. Basically, we're just going to go over the, the schedule for the week, the DLC strategy, excuse me, and uh, just had a random hiccup, and we'll go over any of the new games I'm going to get, and then we'll start playing the game. So, to finish out our weekly intro, guys, I'm going to go over the full schedule for the week through Sunday. I do not have it on Discord or the website yet. But I promise later today or tonight it'll be live on Discord and the website. It won't take you know, more than 5-10 minutes to get them both up and active. This uh, is not 100% concrete, but I'd say it's a good 90 plus percent concrete. So, uh, you know, I don't think the games are going to change. Just uh, certain times might differ on Tuesday, for instance, and stuff like that. But uh, let's go ahead and just go over the schedule and we'll go from there. So today's ACV back-to-back, -back, our Assassin's Creed Day. 
We're doing Assassin's Creed Mondays from here on out. Unfortunately, we are not doing this four times a week anymore, only twice. As we have a you know, new game coming out this week, which I'll get to in a second. So again, 2.15 to 4.15, 4 to 6.30. On Tuesday, we're going to do Minecraft Dungeons, Howling, or Howling Peaks uh, DLC. We're going to have the first session at 12 o'clock, and it's going to end between 1.30 and 2. And then we're going to come back around 3.30ish, plus minus. Can't guarantee the exact time, but that's my estimate. I'll put it and make sure it looks like an estimate on our schedule as well for uh, the 3.30 slot. And we'll play. Hopefully, we'll get three and a half to four hours, and this way we can knock out the entire DLC. Shouldn't take more than three hours, to be honest, especially because I'm going to you know, do the easy way of playing on the lowest difficulty for the achievements. Other than the achievements I have to do in Apocalypse, which I can actually probably just get them on the lowest Apocalypse difficulty anyway. So we'll see what happens. I'll uh, you know take a look around. I will make it work, but one step at a time. Moving on to Wednesday, we have Hitman 3 releasing. I'm going to be doing curbside pickup. I plan to, to hopefully have it installed and start at 1.30 and go till 6. That day, if we start at 2, we will just go to 6.30, but uh, I'm going to do my best to be 1.30. I have something to do in the morning, and then I'll go pick up the game, so it should work out. I think I'll have enough time to install it and all that good stuff. Moving on to Thursday, we're going to do Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War at 1 o'clock. Warzone at 3.30. On Friday is our flex spots. We have flex spot number one at 1 o'clock. Flex spot number two at 3.30. Part of our once a month list is a flex week. The third week of every month is flex spots. For this week, we're doing two throwback Call of Duty. So we have uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, which uh, will be held at 1 o'clock. And then Call of Duty World War II, which will be held at 3.30. Friday night, we should be holding Warzone at 9 o'clock, Dead by Daylight at 11.30. On Saturday, probably Minecraft 2.30, Hunter Call of the Wild, Yukon Valley, a new DLC will be streaming at 5 o'clock. And then we'll be doing GTA 5 from 11 o'clock up till 3 in the morning with the intermission. On Sunday, we're going to hold a, around 1 to 1.30 stream with Electrovolts. That's another day that's uh, not solidified yet. I don't know which game we're going to play, but hopefully by tonight I'll release something for you guys. We've been playing FIFA. I don't know if we'll do a you know, FIFA trilogy of streams or we'll switch it up. We have quite a few options, so... I, uh, we haven't locked that in yet, so but we will be streaming. I think one o'clock though, because uh, we need a little bit more time later in the afternoon for some other stuff. So uh, I'm expecting an earlier start on Sunday, and that's pretty much it for the schedule for DLC. We only have two DLCs to work on: Minecraft Dungeons Howling Peaks, which we're going to work on uh, this week tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll get all the achievements done and be able to just put it back on the shelf until the next expansion, if there is any more expansions coming. Moving on, uh, the other DLC we got to do by end of January before we have to worry about anything else in February probably, is Star Wars Battlefront 2's co-op. I believe we can beat it in one session, but uh, I'm going to possibly plan a back-to-back -back session, so I'll think about it. But uh, we should be doing that the final week of the month, which is next week, alongside uh, PUBG. So we'll see how it works out. If I can, I will try to uh, do it like a Star Wars Battlefront 2 back-to-back -back day so we can make that work. I'll make a note of it real quick right now. We could always sacrifice something for a week. No guarantees what it could be. But uh, I'll definitely look into holding Star Wars back to back next week. And see what we can do about it. Moving on from there. Let's see. As you guys can see, there's like a wolf down here. There's a lot of fights I got to do in this game right now. Uh. So I might have to get myself into a fight mindset in the game. I've been just running around the map getting uh, collectibles and stuff. Trying to avoid the fights, but I think we have like four or five fights we got to take care of in East Anglia itself. So it might be good to hop into that. But uh, the last thing to say would be the new game is Hit yeah, Hitman 3 and uh, all the other games got postponed. Far Cry 6, etc, etc. Maybe we'll uh, get a new game or two in the spring and then probably in the fall. I know we got Halo Infinite coming out in the fall, so that'll be a big title. That was supposed to be a release title that they postponed, unlike Cyberpunk, so hopefully they release it the way we want it. I don't know what the hell that wolf's doing down there. It's really annoying, though. Let's jump down here and go away. So hopefully everyone had a good weekend. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, back to the week, but like I said, in the U.S. at least it's a three-day weekend, so it ends up being a shorter week, but uh, I still got a bunch to do. Like I said, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with the rest of the week. Wednesday could also be affected in the, in you know sense of our stream times as well, but uh, I won't know until Tuesday on that one. So we'll see how the cookie crumbles will make everything work. 
definitely looking forward to starting Hitman 3 on Wednesday. That's going to be replacing Assassin's Creed, you know, spots 3 and 4, unfortunately. Pretend Hitman 3 is, you know, a 30-hour game. This is a 100-hour game. What I could do is always, you know, put this on the shelf for a few weeks and smash out Hitman 3 over the course of, you know, a few weeks or do this or that or find, you know, we'll find a you know, method to juggle these games over the course of the next few weeks. Might have to cut back on something else, but uh, one step at a time. So I was moving up to this right here, if you guys can't tell. Just want to set a marker and make sure we're going the right way. It's random talk for the week. I uh, don't have anything Please, too exciting. Just dealing with the class works uh, all the evening so far. But uh, Friday, I'm going to watch a new episode of WandaVision. I didn't think they were releasing one, but I think the third episode does come out Friday. So uh, if it does come out, we'll be watching that. Saturday, going to watch a movie. It's TBD. We skipped a movie over this weekend, so we'll see how we decide next weekend. We did watch Monty Python, though, on Sunday, so uh, definitely a movie to at least watch once. It's kind of goofy. Not the same as Airplane, for instance, but definitely goofy in the lineup of, uh, you know, different comedy from old past time. But it was still pretty funny. Definitely uh, enjoyed watching it. We'll see what we watch next time. But uh, I'll leave it at that so we can get into the mission we gotta do. Your magic will save my farm and my family. What troubles you, friend? Why won't the seer answer your call? I know not. But without her drafts, my family is doomed. So I think that's our first battery warning. I'm running double A's on this controller, so we should have two hours. I'll have to change them during the break, though, for sure. Blood leading away from the house. Something's amiss. Yeah, we uh, do the three-day weekend. I'm a little bit tired. I didn't sleep very well last night, but I'm definitely willing to play. Uh, if I do need it, I'll go grab a drink, like an energy drink later on, but I'm trying not to. So I had coffee uh, a few hours ago. Three, four hours ago, so I guess in two hours, I, yeah, would be fine with a boost. I bear this pain with grace, Freya, but please, show me a sign. <laughs> you have my thanks, kind one. Your wounds are grave. Should you not rest in bed, I'll carry you home. It is no wound, but the blood is mine. I made the potion. Freya's blessing to help the crops grow. Blood meat. Good. You know of it. From my pain, life springs. Ah, please, help me to the clearing. The field needs the blood meat. There's a farmer at your house who needs it as well. She waits desperately for your return. Oh, no. But my fields... If I fail in my task, the harvest is doomed. Please, bring me to the next bloodstone. Seer! The pain surges. But I must finish the ritual. I could take her to the next bloodstone. She could finish the rite. Or I could bring her back to her house where the farmer waits. Uh... I'm going to look this one up, so I'm interested to know what the better option is. Let's take a quick look. Take her to Rada or whatever. Farmer. 
seem to have the better outcome. I was looking on uh, Google. I hate to spoil stuff sometimes, but sometimes I got to make sure I make the right decision. Uh, shout out to Goas Noob. Is, it, is that what it's called? No, Gosu Noob. It's a website with uh, you know, guides for this kind of stuff. Definitely helps. Is she well? Rada, my blood Just and dropped her. <laughs> of Freya and Freyr. Speak now. What do you need of me? Seer, my crops wither and my family starves. Harvest comes soon, yet our fields remain barren. I know your land suffers, Rada. Take the rest of my blood meat and water your soil. All will be well in a few days. Thank you, blessed Seer. I will see to my fields at once. <laughs> Thank you. You are both welcome to any good crops my farm will produce. Look for me at my farm in a few days. World event complete. That was an easy little event. Thanks to anyone watching live, posting chat for shout outs, general discussion, all that good stuff. Right now we're working on uh, East Anglia completion. I'm gonna go up to here. Real quick. I know a lot of them are fights that we already discovered and I kind of skipped them. We're just gonna kind of have to get in the fight move and, the, you know, groove, I mean, and just uh, hit them back to back to back. I have to get warmed up. I play this once a week, so I don't want to just hop in and uh, immediately dive into the boss fights, if you know what I mean. But I am willing to get into it today. We have all afternoon dedicated to this game, so. I really got nothing else for random talk for you guys, so, uh. That is that. I'll see what we can work out with the schedule moving forward, but I was thinking Assassin's Creed twice a week, Hitman 3 twice a week. We'll keep Warzone twice a week. GTA twice a week, because we're uh, on the final three heists. I think once we're on the heist in GTA 5, we'll move it to once a week. And uh, free up the night spot that night, that, like 1 air, 1.30 in the morning for flex, so we can play whatever we want to play in the late night. It's a good option. We'll see what happens, but, uh, you know, that we definitely have at least a month or two or three left in the heist grind anyway. We'll probably be able to finish Doomsday Part 1 on Saturday night, though, so if everybody uh, can make it. So apparently I gotta eat some mushrooms and go on a trip. How, how strange. Observe the signs and pass through the gates. I saw the deer walking behind this one. Oh god. the sign be it's a bird it's gonna show me the way where do you go I'm trying to see because uh, it's trying to give me signs I don't know if that bird is supposed to be Doesn't seem to be giving us any signs. Which doesn't help. I see blood out of all of the bottoms. So that's not it. There's hay here. I guess we failed. <laughs> this is different from the other puzzles I had to do. Wasn't it this one? <laughs> we 
mean, I'm hoping it was right because we made it up here. I just don't, I don't know which one of these it was. We went in the lefternmost one. Maybe we'll try this one. I mean, worst case scenario, we'll just do process elimination, I guess. <laughs> oh god, where are we at now? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not those. It's one of the two center ones. This is pretty stupid. Hold on, never mind. We're still in the trance. Might be a good sign. This is so confusing. I mean, we'll just do it in the order we just did it in. And just pick the other gate. I mean, it's... Just by selection, that would be how ah, we got to do it. We go to the non-shield gate, and it should push us forward. So I think we went for the right gate, right? I hope so. It's going to put me down in the woods. Puts me to here, which I think is different from where we were. So that's where I made my mistake in the first place. Uh, I need some signs, game. Come on. Yeah. That was it. We did left, we did right. If I was going to do random guess, I would go middle. Oh god, I don't see any signs. There's supposed to be signs where to go. But there definitely ain't no dang signs. Check the sky, is there signs in the sky? I think we got it. A rich man's home burning. Yet he was hopeful when death stood outside his door. It is always better to live, even in misery. Well, figured it out. I wasn't wrong going with my idea of going middle on that one. I think it's time to maybe start dealing with the fights. This is the only non-fight I have left. This is a fight. This is a fight. Pretty sure this is a fight. I'm pretty sure this is a fight. I'm pretty sure like this is a fight. East Anglia is just a bunch of fin fights. I can obviously leave and come back, but uh, just so you guys understand what's going on, I uh, I don't want to fast travel to Norway, but we completed the level one region, which is the you know region you start in full completion. There's only two regions in Norway, that and the uh, northern one, which is like level 280. So. Obviously, I didn't go to the 280 level. Just so people are aware, I'm currently level 146, so we're about to jump to 148 with some purchases here on the skill tree. But You get the idea. Just currently uh, working on the map. But uh, just to explain what's going on here, we did this region, this region, now we're working on this region. Once we're done with that, I think we're going to go to Oxenfordshire. Or I'm trying to see what else is out here. Yeah, we'll probably go to uh, Oxenfordshire next. After East Anglia. And then eventually head down to London. London's pretty easy in my view. Everything's like contained within this tiny spot. But you get the idea, so... uh once we complete the region of Oxenfordshire, I'll probably go back to the story missions, but till then, guys, we'll stay away. 
I'm going to go ahead and pick what we're going to get our next upgrade, so just bear with me, guys. We're starting to run out of stuff we can unlock. So we're just going to have to start taking stuff we don't care as much for. This wouldn't be bad, so... Apparently we killed this guy. We killed quite a few of them and I haven't even tried to hunt them down. They just kind of come to me or... I found one of them just dead on the ground the one time after they tried to chase me down. Either way, looking at the map, let's go down to uh, that... Looks like a graveyard down there. Alright, I'm going to put it in autopilot. We're just going to cruise down, guys. I'm just taking it easy today. Easy peasy Monday. there. If it's a fight, I'm probably going to get my ass kicked because we play this once a week and I got to get warmed up, but I'll you know, have to start getting warmed up now. I know we have at least like four or five fights we got to do. Even though my level is, what is it now? 148 and we're in a level 55 region. I feel like it scales all the bosses so we can't just walk in and, you know, three tap anyone. It'll still be a legit fight. Is this a fight or not? I forget. Soot stained in note. I don't know what this is, but we're going in. Do a quick scan. Search this entire cave. Anybody want some uh, some snake? I just made it on the uh, the floor barbecue. <laughs> Something back here, though. I don't think there's a boss in here. Old diary. Grendel. I thought we were here already. Didn't we do the Grendel mission already? Why is it not marked as complete? What do we have to do here? That's what I want to know. There's nothing down there. Worth going down the sea. Let's 
So we gotta go up here. So, another one. It's gotta be something we gotta do in here to complete it. We've already done this mission, but it's still showing up as an uncompleted thing on the map, so that's why I don't know. Let's go back down to that underground room. See what's down in there. if there's anything back there to collect, so... Sword of right there, cow. This is where we gotta go. mission I had no idea that was there you can see I already opened the door to leave and stuff we definitely been here just uh I thought I just had to do the mission so we completed the world event we just apparently didn't get the collectible didn't they sometimes they put world events and collectibles together set you know in the same location but it's not very often that you run into two in one spot as for that we have one wealth we have five mysteries one artifact to go I think we have all of them that's a total of uh seven right so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, I think like five of them of seven or at least are uh, battles that we'll have to do where we're probably going to get our ass smacked and get pissed off, but we got to do what we got to do, right? I'm thinking about getting the uh, energy boost, but I have no idea what time I drank coffee today. Don't want to overdo it. What I had was like a triple shot espresso kind of drink you get in a can, so. But today's like my Sunday, so I'm a little bit tired. We've been up three late nights in a row, and staying up till three, waking up way too early just doesn't uh, help out.
Uh, feel free to post in chat if you guys got any ideas for random topic discussion. Otherwise, I got not, you know, not much for you guys. It'll get kind of quiet, but I'll do my best to keep it going. Kind of already covered the random chat I had for this week. I'm trying to see if there's any websites that have DLC announcements. Like, there should be a website uh, somewhere that announces when DLCs are being released. So I got to try and figure out, you know, a good uh, site for this info. I'm not sure what DLCs are going to hit in February, but I'm going to be well prepared. We already got the mid-season update from Warzone. And once we finish out Dungeons DLC this week and then Star Wars Battlefront 2 co-op missions next week, I think, from my point of view, all of our DLCs caught up other than Destiny 2 raids that I just don't care for. I'm tired of the Destiny 2 grind. I haven't played that in like a year plus, and I think I'm going to keep it on the shelf. And then Division 2 second raid seemed extremely hard to find people to want to do it. And I also heard it's bugged. So, I'm probably going to skip the Division 2 raid as well, just so people know. I was all about doing it, but uh, unless, you know, we just can't find the people to do it with. That's the problem. I'll find, like, one or two looking for group posts, and they'll be, like, on the final boss fight and, you know, have specific requirements for what kind of build you have. And playing the game so rarely, I definitely don't got the build they want. So. <laughs> this was bugged last time we came here. Thankfully, it's working this time. Come farther, this way. I am here. I am here. Look. I've made this myself. My TARDIS can yet. Oh, yes. Oh, we gotta build it right here. Swiftly to the stack of there we go. This is impressive. And it can stand hard against the winds as well. This is a uh, kind of a worldwide thing. <laughs> Even in the US, they'll have uh, standing stones, like piles, just to help guide you along trails, if you know what I mean. So. Noisy belches. Might not have the same meaning, but... Definitely used for guidance and uh, navigation. The only trade of a Cairns. East Cape Peak completed. I remember like hiking in Maine, uh, one mountain near Bar Harbor. What is it called? I forget the name of it. It was a big mountain by Bar Harbor, and like the whole top of it's just rock, kind of like this. It's like dirt and rock. And uh, when you're walking up the path, there's not really a clear path. You're just walking on stone half the time. And like boulders and stuff. And uh, you'll find piles like this. And that's how you know you're on the path. You know what I mean? I think I climbed it once or twice in my younger years. I planned to go on a road trip up there when uh, the times that are currently going on pass. As we all hope they pass eventually, right? So hopefully this will be the year it, you know, this moves on. And then we'll have the roaring 20s from uh, 2022 on. <laughs> people are going to want to get the hell out and travel and everything's going to boom all crazy. But until then, obviously, we got some uh, time to wait out. They, uh, you know, Cyberpunk could have been a good idea for wasting that time, but when they broke that game, I just uh, turned away from it. Doesn't mean I'll never play it, but uh, I also heard that we're not going to get fixes until possibly halfway through 2021 for some major patches, especially on consoles, so... To me, I don't want to give them the business because they obviously don't got their shit together. Even though I have a PC that can handle Cyberpunk amazingly, I'd much rather, uh, you know, buy a game that, uh, you know, gives what I expect it to give people. You know what I mean? Before I do this fight, I just want to throw it out there. Uh, one, I was going to play Avengers and Scar Wars Squadrons, but I decided to skip both. But there is a possibility one day when they're on sale for like 10 bucks, because they're already half off nowadays on the market, because I guess they did the bad, I'll consider picking them up. But otherwise, uh, we still have Watch Dogs Legion, so that's something I plan to bring back. But they have, they promised they are going to fix autosave in December. Guess what, it's going to be the end of January and there's no autosave fix, so they're a-holes as well. <laughs> as much as that game was amazing as hell to play, it felt amazing, it looked good, it was, the only bug was legitimately the autosave. Legion has high potential if they would just fix the damn game, so I look forward to getting back into that as well. But Hitman 3 is going to take Legion's initial spot, if you guys can't tell. <laughs> so initially it was uh, Valhalla and Legion, then Legion was broken, so I put it down, focused only on Valhalla. Now we're going to give that spot back to uh, you know Hitman 3. So I'm going to get my ass kicked. We're about to do a fight. I have three healing things. Let's see if we have any... Upgrades on our inventory or anything? I don't think so. We do. Have, we can level up to 150. Let's do that. Where was that? We just brought out a new expansion. All right. Let me.
Let me get in a better seating position. Is this about to go down? I've seen such violence before. Are you here for blood? Like all of those wretched others? Speak! Not for yours, unless you tempt me. Liar, liar, liar! You will join them, all the unkind dead! Now I open the scars of my heart! Seder, you sing troll! Breathe deeply! Watch as I become smoke! And listen as I break your bones! So our goal is going to focus on uh, defense. Using the boat, as you guys know me, Origins Odyssey. I'd be like heavily on level uh, in Origins, and I would take on a boss like 30 levels above me, and it would be insane. But with the bow, your bow is your best friend in these games. Trust me. The problem with this boss is I gotta be very careful, as you guys can see. They come from like multiple attack windows, and a lot of the attacks are not blockable. Seems like when she's done her attack is a good time to attack. She's gonna do her little like ritual soon. That gets her a bunch of health back. Here goes, here goes. Now my blood screams! <laughs> Scream! Feeling good about this, guys, but let's not jinx it. Obviously, I got my focus on today. This is what I'm talking about. This is how I should be playing games every day. It's like a roller coaster around here, as you guys know. <laughs> Some days I'll get, you know, 2, 3.0 KDs, and other days I'll get like 0.2s. You just never know what the hell to expect around here, but do my best. I'm more nervous about this with all the flames, so I'm being careful to see what she's, her attacks are. She's kind of cornering me in this damn fire, I don't like it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, ah! 
Why can't I use my ability? Alright, this did not go well. That's what I was worried about. I'm gonna just go for small hits again, no large hits, just stay alive. She send she doesn't seem to defend against small hits well, but large hits she's better off. Back, back. Get back. Get back. It's like that song by the Beatles and shit. <laughs> Gotta get back. Oh come on man. You horse shit lady. Get out of here. We're trying to get the uh, the ability for the four arrows, but for some reason I can't get it at all. Listen to me, move. <laughs> we don't want to pull Lincoln Park and have this not matter in the end, alright? Go, 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 go. Alright, why does he do that? I'm holding down the button for the, uh, the bow, but he's swinging the damn thing. I don't know. One more whack, one more whack, guys. Got it. We got Thor's battle plate torso. That's awesome. The daughter of Lyrian defeated. And we got two skill points for winning that fight. It works for me, man. Keeping her body as a reward for that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this candle light my... Obviously in a very good battle mood. Let's keep the battles going, because... That was awesome. <laughs> that was one of my best fights in Assassin's Creed, easily. The thing is, uh... We played Origins, we were underleveled, so I had to play very defensive with arrows, so I learned a lot how to play with arrows. Then with uh, Odyssey, I was above-leveled, but then my arrows were so powerful, I could knock a boss and, like, you know... 30 seconds to a minute with arrow attack, so I would just, uh, 
I basically completed all the regions and then did the missions like I'm doing now. So we're way above level. We're like 60 levels above what we should be. We're at like 150 where we need to be at 90 for the story. So it's going to kind of make some of the stuff easy. But if you guys can't tell, I think the bosses scale no matter what in the other sense. So uh, you get what I'm getting to. But uh, let's see, I was just getting confused why the hell he's going this way. So I lost my uh, train of thought for a sec there. Sometimes you gotta wonder what the hell the GPS in the game is doing, but it takes you the most random routes possible. Right, right, come on, dude. You stupid ass, big ass wolf. Why do you, like, Why is this complicated for you? They're tiny, just run them over and let's go. I mean, Odyssey was like an arrow melt fest for me. Every, every boss fight we did in Odyssey was just melting enemies with arrows. Not that it's a bad technique, it obviously worked. I beat, uh, you know, 100% completion of the game every single boss fight with arrows, including DLC. But <laughs> this game definitely gives me more of an opportunity to play more uh, melee, but Viking battle was much more melee ba you know, based anyway, so. I think we gotta fight this guy next. He's like some old man who thinks he's dying, but he's fucking insane. Oh shit. Fucking eight, dude. There you go. Watch me, son. A true trainer can win a battle with a twig or a skull. Fishmonger is like tougher than half the people in the game. scary. Even though I had enough health, I would have possibly died due to, uh, I expect such a health drop there. Me, my boy, my dear love. Now 
You know. Father, I... I understand. I see the glory you spoke of. Go now to Valhalla, and join Ragnar in the War Eternal. Your father is a fine warrior. A Drenger to the end. One day, I will honor him, and make of myself a Drenger. I don't think we need to confirm the kill. It's pretty much you'd be drowning down there, but... Here, watch me kill your papa. Slip my knife in here. Just watch, kid. That's your dad right there. <laughs> what the fuck? This kid just watching me like kill his dad. Here, where do you want me to bring Papa, man? I see he left you this nice little hut. So what I'm gonna do is send you off with a. Uh... Yeah, I'm trying. To... Where's the door? I want to put Papa inside your house, man. The fuck. I'm never gonna pop on the roof. <laughs> roof storage work, kid. Papa <laughs> don't want to go up on the roof. <laughs> yeah, I'll go on top of the crates right here. Kid, you got any arrows? This kid got no arrows for me, man. That's some bullshit. Well, I guess we could just do this. Should have thought about your well-being before he fucking decided to let me kill him. Enjoy your house. <laughs> nah, that's just mean, but it's a video game, so. <laughs> You're just a kid. But now I don't have a house, so. Hopefully it goes to that local town over there. <laughs> a critical chance sounds pretty good to me. We got Thor's battle plate, guys. That's awesome. I definitely want to get his whole outfit. I don't care for him. Uh, we've done two of the battles so far. We're going to have to go see what this is and what this is. I don't even know if this is a battle. I think we just had trouble finding this one underground. I think this is a battle, though. We have, like, three more battles and, like, one normal mission or something. Let's go find out. Let's go down to this wealth mission real quick. See if my horse will take me there, uh... While my horse is taking us, guys, I'm going to go off mic to quickly grab something sweet. Well, that was a waste. I was hoping he would take us, but so much for that. Uh, we spawn. He should be able to take us. What the hell? Let's take ourselves. Shout out to J Smoke. Sub J Smoke.
do to do. Once we get up here, guys, I'm going to go off mic for like 30 seconds. I really need something sweet right now. My sweet tooth is going crazy. And uh, I had some egg, like an egg sandwich for lunch, but I'm just trying to. Need something sweet. I'm thinking about grabbing some sweet tarts or something real quick. Uh, like the chewy ones are awesome. Something about grabbing some of those. So I'll be right back. Give me like one minute. And then we'll uh, continue on. Back on my guys, just grabbed myself uh I saw the friggin' Halloween. We bought like a crazy bulk candy thing at a uh, bulk store, you know, bulk sale store. There's a bunch of them all over the country, obviously, and probably the world, but uh ended up buying like a friggin' five pound bag of like sweet tart chewies, sweet tarts, bottle caps, nerds. And uh I don't even know if we're halfway through the bag and I've been trying to eat it like every single day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's good for me or not, but probably not, but it helps out with that sweet tooth and then, you know, it's perfect because it'll be like, you know, a 30, 40 calorie pack, so you don't have to worry about overdoing it. It's probably not that bad at all because it's used in such, you know, moderation. Oh, you like, you know, 140 calorie pack in, uh, you know, a day or something. I need to start eating it now, though. I need to get this flavor out. All this uh, late night streaming... With the gin jack, uh, catching up. <laughs> and Jay Smoke picking up Bacardi over there. See what I'm saying, guys? It's way below ground here. Have a look, soon. Check around the ruins, because there might be a, uh, a breakable floor at the ruins or something that lead over there. Yeah, 
quick look around over here. See if there's anything that leads in the ground. Chased or something? I don't know what's going on. And no worries, answer J Smoke. Uh, definitely appreciate you stopping by. Whenever you gotta go, you gotta go, man. that place we can't complete yet this might be a place we can't complete yet because we have to like get a few things to like open the door but I don't think it's all just in contained in this one region so this might be one of those things that uh we might not be able to do today but doesn't mean it's the end of the world talking about the blade I took from the lady of the crack it may fit one blade is missing one blade is missing and it's most likely this person right here, guys. Oh god, where did I just go? Then we already looted that chest. Appreciate the like, man. If you missed the J Smoke, I covered the schedule for the week in the first 10 minutes of the stream. But I will have it up on Discord and the website uh, later today. Should have grabbed me two packs of those sweet tarts, to be honest. Don't want to keep interrupting the stream, but I might have to go grab another bag. Yeah. 
looking to get out of this area. There we go. <laughs> Roger that to J Smoke. I need to heal. Achievement, 20 gamer score, dream catcher, destroy 10 curse symbols. It's the, uh, it's the white one. The one that, uh, was part of that mission, isn't it? We followed it around and shit. It was like a symbol for a mission. That'd be funny if that's it. That was easy enough. Don't hate me guys, while I was loading I went and grabbed more sweet tart chewy minis or whatever, mini chewies, whatever the hell you want to call them. We got about 45 minutes and a 30 minute break, then an hour 45, so plenty of time to grind out what we can today. At the rate we're playing the game, though, it'll probably take us like three months to beat it at only twice a week, so I'm definitely going to have to consider what we can do moving forward to expedite the game. <laughs> so we're going to get DLC for this game, and then we're going to be playing it even longer, so we'll have to uh, figure it all out.
I'll catch up on chat in a moment, man. Let me fight this uh, black shark and then I'll see what I can do to answer you. Just so you're not waiting. I don't know what you said, so. I don't want to take my eyes off the screen with this monster right here. You know what I mean? I wish I could get the arrow attack. What he's trying to do? Is he trying to get like big attacks on me or is he?
Legendary animal defeated Black Shuck, that was awesome. Two skill points for that. Let's go ahead and check, and I'll catch up on chat in just a sec. See you in chat. <laughs> hey man, I had to uh, fight that black show. What the f beep? Need some uh, some of these minis real quick to celebrate our victory. Break away from the mission for a sec. I'm gonna go see if I can do some upgrades. Shout out to McMaster. McMaster, the schedule is not what I sent you. Just letting you know now if you're still listening. Move things around again a little bit. I'll uh, have it on the Discord and the website later today. But we're doing, uh, just to verify, we're doing COD Thursday, Friday. Just to let you know. Good to see you. I have completed the contract. Excellent work, my friend. You impress me more and more every day. Here is what you have earned. I must take my leave. So long. You go on. I'll still be here. May I see your stores? All my pieces are good, but that one's very good. This will serve you well, Aylor. Bamboosh. I do good work, I must say. I must be on my Until next we meet. We have so much stuff in the game now, it's crazy.
This guy sells stuff too? Or just upgrade gear? What have you got for me today? I can get you that one easy. You are looking like, where do I buy ammo and stuff around here? I will put that gear to good use out there. Oh, my eyes. Try to go to the hunting post, maybe. Brewery. Trading post, actually. going here are you the man in charge it's my grandfather really but he says the best way to learn responsibility is by working besides between you and me I'm better at it more of a people person you know I do it's good to have you both of you so I'm just open up the fishery for that kid you better be thankful for that <laughs> We don't have enough to open up other stuff, but we're gonna go to the store real quick. Eivor, good to see you. You're just in time for new stock. I would like to see what you haven't. You know you have use for this. There's always more where that came from. See. I'm almost jealous at what a good purchase you've made. Do do do. You should buy that. Alright lady, chill out. I don't want to buy everything you have. Calm down. You're get kicked out of my village, you keep this up. How did I tell you that? This guardian lamp scheme. Ooh. This is going to look so good. Is that everything? I'm off. Until next time, Eivor. Is there a place for me to put it? The landmark tree. What the hell? Look at that. That's pretty crazy. So I think we're ready to go back. Two things left in East Anglia. With about 27 and a half minutes left till the break. Something like that. We're just going to say about 4.15ish. We're taking a break. So 25 minutes. That'll be about a 30 minute live break so everyone's aware. Got a few things to take care of during that break, so. Probably be going to full 30, but then we'll play an hour 45 till 6.30 and that'll be it for today. I know Jay Smoke said he's going to go in a little bit. And I know McMaster missed the schedule, so he's probably still watching the intro to the video to catch up on what's going down this week, so.
Another tortured soul. Come you hither to pay your respects to the great and brave King Lyrion. I do not know such a man. He was betrayed and murdered by those who denied his friendship just as you deny him now. <coughs> Hold there! I'm not your enemy! Darkness must reign, and you must fade within it! Oh god. Oh god, she's a level 340, we shouldn't be here. Oh god. We're screwed, guys. I probably should just accept my fate. Your story is lost in the rage you spew. No. No. I am found in the rage. I live there. She barely look at her damage. It doesn't even do anything. Oh god, one hit. You guys are gonna watch me die because she's level 340 and I'm level one like 60. I am not able to even comparably compete. We didn't even see a visible damage indicator that I even did damage when I you know got those hits. So unfortunately, it seems like we're not gonna be able to do finish out East Anglia until we're literally near the end of the game. There must be some special armor down there that you unlock because uh. If you gotta get to level 340 to unlock it out of like 380 or whatever, you know you're pretty far along. So the last wealth and the last mystery of East Anglia are contained until we are able to take on the other person down here. I'm gonna double check real quick, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you saw, I think it said 340, right? And I'm only 156, so we're not even halfway there yet. It'd be stupid to think we're actually gonna beat it. I did not expect such a high level boss in this region, I'm not going to lie. Yep, level 340. We get Thor's gauntlet, so... And Cordelia's dagger from it. Just bear with me a sec. We have power level 340. She's the last of the daughters of Lyrian. You'll meet in Valhalla, a group of blah, blah, blah. We killed the other ones, but they were of our level. So... Yep, 340 guys, uh, so let's go ahead and just say right off the bat, I am not completing a 340 level fight at, like I said, 157 or whatever. And this one right here, the final wealth piece, is directly linked because I have to kill this person, collect their sword, and their sword is a key. The final key I need to get this armor. So, unfortunately we're not going to do either one today, but what we can do is we can move on. So we have Lettershire B, Grampershire, East Anglia. Time to head off to Oxenfordshire, I guess. Start the grind over here, Oxenfordshire. There's a lot to do. It's uh line didn't get started, I guess. Especially because we still have about 20 minutes, so I take a break. Supporting as it sounds, I'm gonna have to go do some dishes and cleaning up uh, from slacking over the three-day weekend during the break and. I gotta call 6.30 sharp because I want to hit the gym today as well. For me, it's, while well, it's partially a vacation day, it's still doing what I would have normally done on a Monday anyway. Minus, I guess, waking up early and doing a few hours of work, so. 75% of the day is a normal day to me, so. But, uh, now that's life. Gotta do what you gotta do. Who's showing up? I'd rather just go fight him, because...
this is three wolves that I gotta fight at once. They don't seem to be that high level, but I do gotta be cautious. This fucking wolf right here, the pain in the ass. Mm. We're there doing damage. Is this supposed to be like high level? The hell level should I be for this? That's what I want to know. Yeah, this fucking one wolf, man. They're so aggressive. The other ones are like tame compared to him. That's it. You're getting chopped up. I'm tired of your shit. Come here. As many hits as I can in a row. Please don't show up, mother for it. We don't need him showing up too. You said you're allowed to heal, fucker. You're allowed to heal, dude. You know the hill. Let's run around. Of course, I'm gonna just get like attack the shit. Me and just Hwit Wolf. Two one v one. It's finally fair. Foul taint cleansed. Bamboosh. Legendary animal defeated. That was crazy. I need to heal up and grab anything we can grab. I got two skill points from that as well. Showing right here, there's like something on the ground that I can't get. I'll we'll catch up on chat in a second, guys. Let me just finish looting around here real quick. See any arrows I can get. Don't think McMaster ever made it back after going back to watch the intro for the schedule, but. Peace out to Jay Smoke. Thanks for hanging out, man. I know Jay Smoke's off to uh, his Dungeon and Dragons today. Usually, uh, he's here like pretty dang often, guys. So expect him around more this week, I'm sure. 
Shout out to Sauce and uh Yeah, I'm gonna go for the equivalent of platinum in this. Like I said, uh damn I'm not sure if you're the one I was telling about before, but yeah, Xbox has achievements, PlayStation has trophies. So a platinum trophy is equivalent of a thousand gamer score. You know, the base thousand gamer score, if a game is fifteen hundred gamer score and you get twelve hundred, but you don't have the original thousand, you wouldn't have a platinum if you know what I mean. So it's a little bit different in those ways, but I am going for a full 1,000 gamer score, which would be a platinum, uh, you know, equivalent, if you know what I mean. But it will take a very long time. I expect another, you know, up to 50 more hours. We're already 50 in, but we are far from done. So East Anglia, I think, is done. Other than those two things we got to do. Otherwise, we even got all the small treasures in East Anglia. I just want to point that out. I've been doing the big stuff and the small stuff. So you'll notice, you know, the only things left are uh, the small things. I also have to go back and possibly do some of these, like, drinking games and stuff, but that's not my focus right now. We can mop that up later on. Since we're over here, we're going to, you know, grab these, so... Start grabbing stuff. Honestly, TV size when you play games is preference. I prefer uh, between 40 and 60 inch. The bigger, the better in my view. Especially if you're playing something like Assassin's Creed or this or that. But performance wise, I mean, you can perform good on small and big TVs, you know what I mean? So it's really about what you're looking for. Some people go for the wide screens. Some people go for, you know, just use their normal TV like I do. Right now I'm playing on a, uh, I think it's a 50 inch. Then when I play from my living room we have a 60 inch in there. But when I stream uh, Mario 64, when I bring it back on the channel, hopefully within the next uh, month or so max, I'll uh, be streaming that from like a 19 inch screen, so. But old school, it depends, it also depends. If you're playing something that's old school, it's way better to play it on a smaller screen, because like N64 was not built for this ratio. It's like a 4-3 four four ratio screen, which is old as hell. You know, late 90s screen, so. For the actual quality, it's not a bad idea to uh, go with a smaller screen than a wide screen, but. Depend like I said, it depends on the game. I've seen all different setups used. So uh, I can't really give you a definite number, but. If you're going for like a monitor, maybe go for 20, you know, between you know, high 20s or low 30s. If you're going for a TV on the wall, maybe go 40 to you know, 50 if you can. That just sounds like overkill, bro. Uh, you'd, for achievement hunting, you could use like a 20 inch screen, but a TV that big would be great for, you know, everything for gaming, for uh, watching movies, blah, blah, blah. So I wouldn't mind a screen that big, unfortunately. You know, I don't think we're getting one that big. I do plan to replace my uh, older living room TV eventually when next time we have sales and we can reasonably get something bigger, but my goal would be like 60 to 70 max. 70 seems to be the new 60 out there, so. We're going on break in about 10 minutes, guys, for 30 minutes, so uh, just be aware we're going to go on a live intermission break. We're going to put up an intermission screen, and I'm going to go vanish for about 30 minutes. Maybe a little bit less, but 30 minutes is my goal, because I got some stuff to do, and I want to make sure I give adequate time to what I got to do. But I 100% will be back, you know, preferably on time. I'm not going to, you know, elongate. I'll cut back and, you know, try to make sure I come back right on time. So maybe I'll be back five minutes before we're supposed to start, just to uh, make sure everything's good to go, and we'll hop right in. Something along those lines. God's hero vigilant. To answer chat, I'm not against DLCs. I uh there's a lot of good DLCs that have been released over the years, so I'm not against it if you know what I mean. Come on. 
Creek Ruins Key, apparently. Thor mm. lends me strength. in the door this game takes very long to platinum but uh i think the dlcs are going to be awesome because they're going to bring in uh ireland and you know around paris to the game aka france so i think that's gonna be pretty cool it's definitely gonna be different and i definitely want to see what they uh you know bring but i do agree i wish they waited on the dlcs a bit longer because it is absolutely insanely large I don't know what the hell that is, but apparently... Hey, saw sorry man, you're uh, you like joined towards the end, so as much as I hate to ditch you, I'm just gonna motion that we only have five minutes left. That's for anybody who's watching, but uh, people, it's been pretty quiet today, it is a holiday in the US, so... Some days are quiet around here, some days are crowded. You never know what's going to happen. Every day is different. So you can't sweat it. Now, oh God, it's one of the mushrooms that we got to eat. Hey, now. Hey. How curious. Obviously, it wasn't it. There's a sign that be that this one's lit up very well. Nope. idea which one I should be going through. <laughs> I think it reset. Unfortunately this is going to be like a guessing game because I don't know what the uh, what I'm supposed to be looking for. So it's definitely not that one, so let's try this one. There was like five of them we gotta try, so if we make a mistake, we gotta rinse repeat a few times each. Alright, so we got two. Let's try this one. And hope that it's it. Nope. At least we know the first two. I'm gonna try going to all the way to the right for the third one to see if that does the trick. Did it reset? Gosh dang it. 
It's one of those two that we gotta run into. I think it's the one all the way on the left. So we tried all the other ones. I'm just doing like, this is like a puzzle, but I'm like using, I'm testing each route we can do to get this done. So This has to be it right here. Yeah. So there's only two left. This is, can only go two ways. I'm gonna hope that's this one. If it's not, then we know it's the other way. That's it. Bamboosh. For a second I thought a reset, but it was just uh completing. He listens and looks about. So must a wise man be who searches within himself. So we got that done. Those are our next goals. Since we only have two minutes left, I'm going to try and uh, push on to at least one more spot. Obviously, the, the end time is negligible. We're going to take a 30 minute break no matter how long I stay on, and then cut off by 6.30 no matter how long you... I can play three hours, take a break, come back for like, you know, 45 minutes if I wanted to, but we're probably going to do something along the lines of two hours and an hour 45, or maybe two hours and five and an hour 40, something like that. I promise you guys though, I'm just going to have to do some brainstorming because uh, I would like to get this game done maybe by end of February or something like that, but that means we definitely have to increase the amount of sessions I'm holding for it. So I'm going to have to see what the deals with Hitman, how long of a game that is. That game might be way shorter and we might be able to you know, slam Hitman out over the course of... Uh, a few weeks and then just go all full you know full swing back in the assassin's creed i'll think about it and we'll uh you know see what happens but this week we'll leave alone because it is released for hitman so i have to uh you know figure it out so we have a desperate note Apparently a mask up here. <laughs> it's in the ground. Like a underground entrance around here. There's gotta be something around here. Like a breakable floor. Or something along those lines. <laughs> when I go downstairs for my break, guys, I'm actually gonna do some brainstorming then, because I, uh, I have one of those Google talk things, uh, Google Home or whatever, so I'm about to ask it how long Hitman 3 is while I'm down there, so I can uh, you know, do what I gotta do and uh, see if we can get some data, so that'll be nice. Need to look for an explosive, one of those little explosive barrels. Once I get this mask, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take my break. To answer sauce, I mean, uh, 
you can always just mess with the settings if you're just learning, you know, these games and you think it's difficult. Just, uh, you know, in the settings, I'm pretty sure they have easier difficulties for enemies, for uh, exploring and stuff. If you have any trouble with the game, you know, there's no difficulty-based achievements. You can still platinum it on easy, man, so... That's one of the things I always say. If there's no, like, difficulty achievement, I usually consider just running on normal difficulty for fun and not have to worry about the grind of a high difficulty playthrough but i'm also the same person who did like halo 5 legendary and andromeda insanity and cod on you know the highest difficulties and battlefield on hardline blah 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 so i do it both ways sometimes you got to take the easy route sometimes you know do the grind all right what is up with these guys they keep spawning in and it's exceptionally annoying Basically, so you guys know what I'm doing, I'm looking for an explosive barrel. There it is. <laughs> yeah, I will not be here during the intermission, guys, but we will stay live during the intermission. I ain't trying to uh, shut down and have to reset everything back up to continue to stream in about 30 minutes. So once I do this, we'll go ahead and uh, go from there. Oh god. Well, that didn't reach. Luckily it respawned. I gotta figure out how to get down. There we go. So they go around this way. answer sauce uh i already have like over 50 1ks aka platinum so all i'm doing if this game is adding it on my list i uh i would have quote unquote platinum the uh, unity syndicate origins odyssey you know mafia definitive edition over the summer saints row the third remastered I, I you know i i beat a lot of games max uh so for me this isn't too crazy to be honest Damn you! If you get what I mean, uh... Well, I definitely would like to have this on my list for 1K games. To me, this is just one little, uh, token in, in the pile at this point. But obviously the goal is to build the pile up. I've been playing games since, uh, you know, back in the... 90s, so... <laughs> we got fans of all ages, so... From, you know, our diff our, we got different perspectives on how it all stacks up. Obviously, with the more time, the more you play, and the more you build up. That stack becomes bigger and bigger, and every little addition means less, if you know what I mean. When you have 200 Platinums and you get one more, it's barely recognizable compared to when you have, you know, 10 and you get another one. It's a more visible jump, if you know what I mean, but the, the bigger the number, the more tiny it looks, if you get what I'm saying. But I'm kind of in that phase where I'm kind of just adding in the pile at this coin. You know, there's a, there's a pile of coins, and I'm tossing them in for, you know, getting the uh, 1Ks, a.k.a. the Platinums, but... This will definitely be a 1K game. Watch all Legion will be a 1K game. Uh, I'm not too sure what else I'll be doing. But for now, we're literally about to go on break. So I'm just going to do two things real quick. Uh, let me see chat. To answer chat, unfortunately, we're not accepting any mods right now. We have a pretty strict process on becoming moderator. So uh, unfortunately, going to have to decline. We might look for a moderator when we hit like 2.5k or so, but when we do that, we're going to go through a pretty big process, and there's not many people that are going to qualify, because we have pretty strict requirements for who I'm looking for to fill in. We usually look for someone who's been in chat or joined our streams for at least a year or longer, at minimum. So it's not to deter anyone or disappoint anyone, but that's how we roll. I, like, I try to stick to people I, uh, you know, I know I can trust for sure, if you know what I mean. Grab that, because apparently I was trying to grab that and never did. I don't know what I'm working towards right now. I forget which one we wanted to get. I'm trying to look around and see if we can see. It's this one right here, I think. So, 
As of now, I'm level 158, and the missions that I'm on are like level 90, so when we go back to the story, it's going to be a joke. It's, uh, yep, level 90. Go through my inventory real quick. I'm going to answer whatever's in chat real quick, and then we're going to get going on this intermission break, guys. I, uh, you know, anyone who wants to come back after the 30 minute break, I'm happy to chat with you because we're going to be playing till 6.30. But, that is the deal. And to answer Sauceman, I, I'm guessing you missed it the first 10 minutes of the stream. I went over the schedule for the week. We have streams scheduled every single day. It's going to change every day. Uh, I'm not going to go over the schedule again during this stream. As I already covered it, like I said, in the first 10 minutes. But uh, I will have it live on our Discord and our website tonight if uh, you have access to either of those. But uh, just to let you know, the only thing I will mention tomorrow is Minecraft Dungeons, Howling Peaks. But it's also a strange day. I have to uh, help someone out with some you know, errands and stuff like that. And... Uh, so it's going to be a little bit weird tomorrow. We're starting early and we're you know, juggling around. It's not going to be back-to-back. -back. It's going to be two separate sessions. It's not optimal, but it's going to work. That's what matters. So as long as we get the DLC done, I'll be happy, if you know what I mean. We only need like three hours anyway for the DLC, so it works well for that day. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and pause real quick and uh, make a quick save. We're going to stay live during the intermission, guys. So uh, keep that in mind. I will be live, but I will not be here until we're back. So TGS intermission starts now, returning by, let's say, 425, because we're two minutes out and we still got to do these shout-outs and stuff. So we'll return by 455 PMET for, like, roughly uh, 1.5 to 1.75 hours, I guess. It's going to be like an hour and 35 minutes plus minus, you know, based on what's going on. You know, if I just stay an extra five minutes to finish something, I will. If we have, get bored and we want to get off early, we can do that. So let's see what happens. But, uh... There you have it, we're hit 55 hours in the game, so we have less than 50 to go, but that's still enough time only playing four hours a week that, uh, you know, it'll take three months to do that. That's why I'm talking about we'll have to figure something out with that and uh, try and get more time for this game in the schedule, but either way, let's go through our supporter screen. I updated this uh, for today, so uh, it's a pretty big list. I think it's our biggest supporter list we ever had, so I greatly appreciate it, guys. I'm going to run through the list now. We'll go on the intermission break with the intermission screen. I'll come back. We'll do a, you know, an hour and a half to an hour 45 more of game time, and then we'll close out for the day. Is, uh, at that time, I am done for the day. I have uh, just stuff to do. i got homework to do, blah, blah, blah. You guys get the idea. So, got to do what you got to do, as we all know. So, real quick, shout out to our supporters. We have BFG Weekly Vlogs and BBT on Patreon. BFG Weekly Vlogs, BBT, J Smoke on Membership. And BFG Weekly Vlogs, brought to EZN, Forrest K, J Smoke, McMaster, and Strange on Super Chat. Appreciate the support. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. Like and sub. I will see you guys in a bit. Putting up our TGS intermission screen now. I'm actually thinking about doing a startup screen as well for the beginning of our stream. So you guys might see a similar screen to this appearing for our startups. Uh, you know, when we're launching the stream before we start talking and waiting for it to connect. But in the meantime, we're just going to keep it the way it is until we build a screen. I'll see you guys after the 30-minute break in about 30 minutes, 4.55 p.m. If I'm back five minutes sooner, I'll try and come back sooner, but no guarantees. I'll see you then. Peace out.
Hey guys, Barry here from TGS with a continuation of our Assassin's Creed Valhalla stream over on number 16. For this session, we're going to continue completing regions on the Series X for those who missed out. We are at about 2 hours and 45 minutes in, so uh, we started around 2.15. If I'm not mistaken, played till about like 4.30, uh, yeah, around like 4.25, 4.30 ish, somewhere in that line. I said I'd come back around 4.55. Came back close to the 5, but uh, we're still going to do about an hour and a half to, you know, something like that. Uh, 6.30ish is my aimed cutoff time. So let's see if we can do it an hour and a half and we'll decide what, you know, what we're going to cut off at that point. But around 6.30ish is our goal. So plan for the day was to play this back-to-back -back to the second half. As per the game, we unlocked, I think, an achievement today, but I'm not achievement hunting today. Strictly completing the regions around the map, so that is the deal. see shout the sauce what's up and yep I'm back in action not gonna go over the full thing uh, definitely appreciate if you guys like and sub and for anyone interested I'll hopefully be starting Minecraft Dungeons Howling Peaks around uh, 12 o'clock tomorrow if all goes to plan uh, different time we'll go back to normal you know scheduling on Tuesdays next week but tomorrow I have something to do that's gonna interrupt my day a little bit so we had to uh, juggle the stream around it but otherwise there's not much else to cover like i said uh first 10 minutes of the stream is our full out intro for the week cover schedule usual spiel plan for the day plan for the games uh you know dlc future releases absolutely everything is covered there so check it out otherwise uh let's go ahead and hop in and see what we do we're going to aim for about four hours and uh 15 minutes on the stream clock which will put us right around up to 3.75 hours of game time which would be right on par for what I'm looking for, honestly, at this point. So continue where I left off, we're just going to run right over here. of support. Must be blocked from the other side. Go back around. We're gonna go in the front. Yeah, sorry for running a few minutes late, guys. Uh, not really like one of the people give my dog cowhide, but we got it as a gift over the holidays. And it's like a three pack, and uh, my dog is like chill and calm, and he, he'll never like growl at us ever until he has a cowhide, and then we try to take it from him. He'll like get all growly. He snapped at me when he was younger, so you know I put him in his place back then, but. Uh, <laughs> I just pick him up and stuff, and he f just freaks out because he's tiny, and I think he's afraid of heights, so if we don't like what he's doing, I usually just pick him up. Easy way to uh, make him stop doing what he's doing. He was getting aggressive with me, so uh, I wasn't paying attention at the time. Telling him he was bad and stuff for doing that. I was trying to teach him, but it probably takes some time. I think he somewhat got the moto, but <laughs> we'll see. Sometimes I feel like when I tell him no, he thinks I'm like playing with him. So I just don't know how to view. Within these walls, never to see light of sun again. Anchoress's journal. A sinner am I. The joys of life I have forsaken. Here in solitude, forever enclosed. I forswear all earthly pleasures. What are you doing in this dungeon? I devote myself to solitary prayer, to confession and fasting. I have broken the lock. You can leave. But I choose to live this way. I am an anchoress. This is my entire life. Sealed up here. All day and night for life. It is an odd way to worship. I am at complete peace with the world. Can you say as much? 
How can you be at peace with the world if you live beyond its reach? I know the pain it can inflict. Come outside. Your guard won't be angry for just a few moments. Come. Come. I will follow you. If only to feel the grass beneath my feet. I will repent when I return. I came here after the dark times. Pestilence and hunger. The death of my father. It has been years. I wonder what it will be like to once again feel a cool breeze. A warm sun. The scent of lavender. Take her out of here. To answer chat, there is no DLC in this game yet. They're going to be adding two DLCs. One in the spring and one, I think, over the summer. So. It is so beautiful. The Earth's beauty renews us. Thank you, stranger. My life begins anew. the world event. So I'm confused. So this raid 220-90. But then this shows this 220 raid. But it's in the 90 region. I'm thus confused. It's a bunch of wealth, so it all comes with the raid. I guess we'll leave it for now. We're not gonna cross that river. So, what I'll do is I'll come to this, this, and then we'll head down into uh, this town down here. <laughs> to answer chat, I'm not sure where you live in the world, but for me, it's uh, winter time right now. We'll get the spring in like March, April, and then you know summer. Obviously, will come with like May, June, era. So I do look forward to it. Last year kind of sucked because uh, obviously you know we went into lockdown in the spring, summer, and those kind of just passed by. Got to try and get out a little bit more this summer, even if I just take a, you know rides in the car uh, for a few hours out around uh, you know. Out in the woods or something. <laughs> Just drive out to the uh, outside the city and take a cruise in the back roads. Grab some uh, food and that will work nicely. They will attack on sight. Shit rules take you. Appreciate the five likes, by the way. Oh, shit. I don't know where they came from. I swear, we have like fans who just show up out of nowhere, and like I'll be on break, and they're like, "Let me sneak in and drop a like." <laughs> oh God! What the fuck was that? <laughs> Stronger already.
Bear with me, guys. It's the problem with these streams are kind of like quiet. You run out of stuff to talk about. The grind of uh, completing the maps does get boring after a while, but we got to keep at it. We're on the last region I want to do to get caught up, so let's just get her done. We probably won't be able to get her done today, but I'm hoping uh, next Monday we'll be able to actually go back into the story, so something for you guys to be aware of. So we got that, so we're going to head over here now. Just tell him to uh, go to the destination. So we gotta follow the letter. Can they first introduce this thing in Assassin's Creed 3 or something? <laughs> to answer uh, chat, yeah, I definitely love it. Yeah, I'm a big trophy hunter. So, uh. Alright, why is this one not gonna go away? Let's do the ones in town and we'll go grab that one right outside of town once we're done in town. But, yeah, I'm a, a big hunter. I mean, if I had PlayStation, I would probably hunt trophies and achievements. But primarily, I'm an achievement hunter. I mean, no matter what you do, whether you hunt achievements or you hunt trophies, we're all the same, if you get what I mean. Like, we're all, we all have the same goal. Getting a thousand gamer score is getting a platinum trophy. It's just a different way of calling it. So we all have the same goals of tackling the achievements and stuff. And uh, definitely something I really enjoy to do. I don't know why. I started doing it like over 10 years ago. As uh, this account's like 12 years old. And uh, it's been quite some time, man. Apparently we're working towards this one. I have... If you look on the top right of the screen, I have 177,000... Every 1,000 points is a platinum trophy, but again, you gotta rem you know remember this score works differently, so I'm not counting platinums with that number. I might have you know 40, 50 platinums, quote unquote, also known as you know 1,000 gamer score games, but the rest is from a ton of games that I didn't fully complete. If you get what I mean. Actually, I'll just show you because uh, I appreciate you being a fan and you've been pretty active today and you're discussing achievements. But just to give you a reference, uh. You know, some games I would quote-unquote platinum would be like Siege. Forza Horizon 4 would have been platinum. The DLC screwed me on an achievement. It's the only reason I have 99%. It's not my fault. Uh, it's something they're trying to fix. Modern Warfare would have been a platinum. Black Ops Cold War uh, wouldn't be. Let me see. Battlefield 5 would have been a platinum. Battlefield 1. Borderlands 3. You know, uh, I'm going to go back to the game in a second, but like Doom Eternal would have been platinum. Mafia Definitive Edition, Haunted Halloween 86, Roblox, Vegas 2, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. My, uh, Minecraft Dungeon is going to be 100% after tomorrow, probably. You know, Saints Row 3rd Remastered, Man Eater, Modern Warfare Remastered, The Crew 2, Monopoly Plus, San Andreas, Odyssey, 
Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remastered, Jedi Fallen Order, Overcooked, We Happy Few, you know, One Leaves, Murdered Soul Suspect, blah, 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 blah. You get the idea. All those would have been platinum, so. I mean, trophy hunting is really not that hard, bro. And it's the same thing as achievement hunting. You just look up the list of trophies slash achievements, and there's guides online. I mean, it depends what you're trying to do. If you're one of the people that tries to get it on without using guides, then, you know, I wish you luck, especially in a game like this. It'll take you, you know, 200 hours to figure that out. But I honestly don't, you know, it's the same thing as achievement hunting. I don't consider it hard. It's really just a preference. It can be hard depending on the game, like if you want... A thousand gamer score in uh, Gears 5, you're going to have to put two, three hundred hours in the game just for that. So, yeah, yes, that can be very time consuming, a grind, and difficult, but that's not something I would do. Gears games I don't do achievements for because I'm just not willing to spend three, four hundred hours trying to, you know, get a full completion on a game where part of those achievements is also just, uh, you know, random luck. There's no guarantee you'll win every match in PvP. There's not a guarantee you'll have a good KD in every match. Whatever, you know, whatever the random achievements want you to do. But this game, I'm achievement hunting. Tomorrow's achievement hunting in dungeons. Uh, Wednesday, I'll start my achievement hunt for Hitman 3. So, you get the idea. We got about an hour and ten minutes, guys, and I'm going to go. I'm going to go uh, do some cardio, some weight exercises, and uh, I think we're having some arctic char for dinner, which is like a type of, it's like salmon, basically, just a little bit different. Uh, yeah, there's plenty of games that take a minute to platinum. I've maybe, I think on my platinum list, I have only a handful games that were quick to platinum and not one minute games. I'm talking, you know, one, two, three hour games. I've done like five of those that are a few hours long, but I I have not done any game that's an easy, you know, thousand in a minute, so. I'm not against it, but I'm not for it. I don't want 200k gamer score and have, you know, 50,000 of it from fluff games. I want, you know, a legit gamer score. Yeah, maybe 10% of fluff is okay. You know, you, if you get 100,000 and you only got 10,000 gamer score in games that are easy, that, you know, that's reasonable. But if you have 100,000 gamer score and 50,000 was, you know, gotten in games where you get 1k in one minute, that's pretty, you know, disappointing. <laughs> Alright, let me read this letter real quick. Yeah, that's my plan. I gotta go do the homework also and uh, after my dinner and blah, blah, blah. So, we'll figure it all out. Registers van braces. So we got that. There's a bunch of little treasures and stuff all around the city, so I'm gonna go around and grab them all. It's surely driven your hair and then rain us a wary hand. On this chip that wounds. To answer Sauce Man, like I said, I don't really play the games that are easy, thousand. So I can't really help you there. I'm sure there's, you can probably Google it if you're really trying to do that route. I mean, some people do. I have a, I have one guy who, I think he had over 100,000 gamer score this month, but he plays all the easiest games you can imagine. His goal is to get a million, you know, gamer score, which would be, you know, a shit ton of Platinums. But like I said, I don't run that style. I may consider, you know, a game or two in the future for an easy thousand, like pretend we're at a 199 and I need an extra thousand and I want to get to 200k easily without having to worry about it. I can throw in a game, you know, download a game that's, you know, five minutes to a thousand, but otherwise, we'll see how the cookie crumbles, if you know what I mean. One step at a time. 
I play a lot of legit games, so when I spend 100 hours on this, it definitely you know gives me some leniency to uh, play some shorter games and not have it affect how my uh, my score is built. But if I go crazy and I go you know spend 100 hours now getting easy achievements and rack up a few hundred thousand gamer score, that would just kind of ruin everything I build. If you get what I mean, so. I think one leaves, gone home, Numa Breath of Life. Those are three games that would be easy uh, gamer score. There's Ben Hur, which is really stupid, but it's easy. It is easy a thousand if you uh, get used to it. And use the strategy. I have some videos actually. If you want to go on our channel and go to playlists, you'll actually find a playlist for thousand gamer score games. Like thousand gamer score games where I actually you know stream one stream for like you know an hour two or three and I get a full thousand gamer scores in one city. So if you want to see those, they're they're basically achievement guides because I show you guys how to get the thousand within like two three hours. But it's a full full playthrough. It's not like a short video being like oh do this and this and like a ten minute video explaining three hour playthrough. It's the full three hour playthrough. So you could probably go on go on YouTube, type in the Gamer Society one thousand gamer score playlist or something and you'll probably find it and it has at least four or five games on there that you might be interested in you know using if you're trying to get easy achievements so. yeah i have a random fact about me i've been playing assassin's creed since the original man and i'm talking as in you know the true original I never beat the first game, but I've played every Assassin's Creed, and I've beat every Assassin's Creed since the second one. So I played the first one, I never beat it. I'm going to replay it from scratch on live stream someday and do a full playthrough. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. A few tasks Redder needs handled came in today. They're always looking for help, so come back any time. I do want to stream, uh... Assassin's Creed 2 Brotherhood of Revelations Remastered, the Ezio Trilogy. That is on my list to stream on this channel in the future when I have some time, but we are booked out right now just because between this, then we have Watch Dog Legion that we still have to go back to, then uh, yeah, I know we got Far Cry 6 coming in the spring, I think. So my goal is to just get caught up. I also promised our fans that I would do GTA 5 Story on live stream, even though uh, we have over 100 streams of GTA 5, they're all online. I never stream GTA 5 story on the channel. I played through it twice before my streaming years. But I promise you guys I'll do a third playthrough and stream a campaign playthrough on uh, on the channel. Probably the best ending playthrough will keep everybody alive or something like that. I don't see a point in seeing every single ending. You could just Google. We have just around an hour to go, guys. I'm sorry that our stream feels a little bit short. A little bit over an hour, I guess, but, you know, an hour and, like, six minutes or something. Once that clock hits 6.30, guys, I'm going to call it. I will not start any more, you know, missions or collectibles once 6.30 hits. Probably by 6.25, I'll start, you know, closing down on what I'm doing, you know, mop up anything that I got to do and move on. One thing Assassin's Creed games still have to fix, going through windows and openings like that. Sad day for Oxfordshire. There 
we go. The answer chat, I'm streaming from the Series X uh, via Elgato HD60. I am saving up to hopefully get an uh, Elgato 4K so I can stream 4K one day, but they're like $400, so unfortunately at this time I can't just throw that money away on that, uh, but maybe one day. I definitely would love to get one. Forever change our uh, gaming experience. Wish they were like 200, then I'd be way more likely to try and pick one up within the next month or two, but 400, it's a little bit harder. They do have some uh, companies that are offering like payment plans, like, you know, buy it today and pay it off over, you know, a month or two or three. I may decide on one of those, but for right now, I'm not trying to rush a decision. But uh, I do know I would love to try streaming this and other games in 4K if we could. So, like I said, it would forever change the channel if we can get that uh, to work. In a good way. Nothing wrong with moving on to the next gen of uh, quality, right? All our streams are at least 1080p, though. Uh, Show me. Let's have the wolf follow the road. Sorry about that, I was just peeking at my phone for a second. Sometimes when we're playing these streams, uh, like today I said guys, uh, I've been talking about this every stream, we've been playing Assassin's Creed. When you play the story, it's way more involved, I'm way more focused, I you know, I keep busy because I know I just have missions and missions and missions to do and they just keep coming, you know what I mean? So you just have constant things to do. When you do mop cleanups, or mop ups, I mean, yeah, map mop ups, like going around the map, completing all the locations, trying to do a full completionist run, then it can get really boring. I'm not lying. You know, I love Assassin's Creed, but every time, whether it was Origins, Odyssey, Assassin's Creed 2, you know, back in my teens when I had to go around collecting all the chests around all the maps, it always gets boring. It always is such a grind. But to me, I love the feeling of getting that completionist mark. So we're at that stage now where I'm just like, oh God, this is getting boring as hell. I can't wait to get off. Not in a bad way, not because the game is bad, just because we've been, you know, we're going to be doing this for almost four hours. I mean, I'm sure you guys understand where I'm coming from. For those who you know know this channel well, you know I'm a very strong completionist. I'm very passionate about gaming, so it's not anything bad about it. Just the fact that the grind, you know, fact that the grind is real, and it definitely weighs down on you. I feel way more beat after doing a collectible stream than I do doing a campaign stream. You know what I mean? When you go around the map for four hours collecting stuff, spot to spot to spot. You feel exhausted after that four hour stream. What if you're doing missions? I definitely do not feel as exhausted. Streaming has a toll on you no matter what because everything in life requires energy, if you get what I mean. But this definitely is like the most grindy, you know. It's not torture, but it is, if you know what I mean. I love gaming at the same time. This is just the grind. And I hate the grind. Destiny 2 made me hate the grind because that's all that game is a fin grind. That's why I stayed away from Avengers as well, because I heard the end game is just nothing but a grind as well, so. You never know, they might fix the game up and I'll play it in the future, but for now I'm staying away from it. And I'm a huge Marvel fan, just to put it out there. To answer chat, yeah, I just said I was streaming from the Series X, man, so I am playing from the Series X right now, so. Maybe you didn't hear me clearly. My bad, uh, if I didn't say it clearly. 
But yeah, I'm streaming from a co Xbox Series X right now. So I'm on the console right now, and I'm uh, using the Elgato HD60, which is like a streaming hard piece of hardware that you plug your HDMI into and then connect it to a laptop. And then I have my laptop streaming from the uh, software to you guys on YouTube. So It's not like Twitch where you just go on Xbox app and click go live, you know what I mean? And it just does its thing. For Elgato, it's a little bit more complicated, but it allows me to stream on YouTube, which is our main hub. So for me, that's more important at the current time. But I am going to start streaming on Twitch more and more. Last week, actually, our Tuesday Assassin's Creed stream, which was back-to-back, -back, was held that afternoon. And I just realized, I think I got our stream numbers mixed up because of exactly that stream. Because it was not under our streams, it was uploaded separate because it came from Twitch. So it does not show up in our live streams on YouTube. So I think I just screwed up the stream numbers, and I'm glad I caught on to that. Because, yep, last stream was stream 16. I'm catching this really late in the stream, but I'm going to fix it right now, guys. This is actually stream 17. So let me uh, just quickly fix it on the title. One second, guys. Right. I'm just fixing our stream, so uh, I can't believe I got the. I'm really sorry about to get the confusion. So that was stream number 16. So let's see. So our last Assassin's Creed stream on, was it Monday? Was stream number 15. And then if I check the uploads, the one I uploaded from Tuesday is number 16. So this is number 17, like I thought. So I just fixed it to number 17 in the title. You guys should see that reflecting any moment. And I made a note in the description saying the beginning of the stream states number 16, comma, but after correction, this is number 17. Sorry for the confusion, period. Good enough. Just fill that description while we're live. Make sure people don't get mixed up. I want to make sure we have the numbers right. I don't want to be uh, putting the wrong numbers for you guys, obviously. All right, I just fixed the title, so sorry about that. I can't believe I caught that. I'm, I'm thankful we caught it because we could easily have had the stream numbering effed up. I think we effed it up in Origins. Like after like number 21, we skipped one and screwed it all up. Or actually, I think it got deleted, and then we... Uh, we never corrected it and it screwed it all up, so I had to fix like 20 streams numbering, but we caught that today, so problem solved. This is number 17, not number 16, as I mentioned in the first, you know, 10 minutes of the stream, so I'm sorry about that. Number 16 was held on Twitch and uploaded separately, and that's why I got confused. When I go to start a live stream, it shows all the previous ones, and because it was held on Twitch, it does not show up in our uh, YouTube live stream lineup, and that's why I got the stream number mixed up, so sorry about that, but double checking. Yeah, this shows the number 17 now, so it's fixed. Shout out to McMaster and shout out to Toons. What is up? And then to the chat, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the Series X. Uh, you know, now it's been so long, you're just kind of used to it being out and being in your life. But when it first came out, it was definitely a pretty noticeable improvement. Just like anything else, yeah, you adapt to it and it doesn't feel as new and as insane as it was. But that's because, you know, we got used to it. But it's definitely a whole nother level of a console. I just want to be able to play it in 4K, so I'm going to try and get the Elgato 4K someday. And I'm not trying to rhyme, but what can you say?
Okay, we have about 50, a little bit over 50 minutes left till we call it for today. Should we say four hours of 15 on the stream clock when we're done? So 55 minutes, plus minus. Like I said, I can't promise when I'm going to get the Elga the uh, Elgato 4K is like legitimately $400, so I have no idea when I'm going to buy it, man. If it was like $200, I'd say within the next, you know, month I'd be willing to buy it, but 400 I might, you know, not be getting it for a month or two or three, but it is on my list to buy, so I will do my best to get one. Because like I said, it'll forever change our, you know, channel for better if we have 4K streaming capabilities. We'll be able to, you know, record... We'll be able to stream this in 4K, we'll be able to play that. The graphic difference is definitely noticeable, but it's not going to vitally change the experience to the point that it's like, holy crap, I can't believe I only played it in 1080p. The game's the same, the colors are going to be better, the definition's going to be slightly better, you know what I mean? So It's going to be an improvement, but it's not going to make or break the game. This game's awesome as hell whether you play it in 1080p or 4K. But I did watch some 4K footage, and it just, it definitely looks better, obviously. I mean, who's surprised that 4K looks better than 1080p? I'm not, but it's not, like, detrimental, like I said, to the playthrough. I'm glad we started on 1080p, but I would love to finish it on 4K if we could. I just glitched inside the fucking wall, dude. Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I'm inside the wall. Man, come on, bro. I'm even trying to do the missions, but the missions are like right where I'm trying to go. And nice to answer chat. I remember you changed your name. I'm trying to catch up on chat real quick. That's crazy. On the, uh, again, 2K gamer score. Might have to look into getting it myself someday, but for now, I'm in no rush. I am working my way to 200K, but I'm trying to do it authentically with Valhalla and Black Ops Cold War and Watchdog Legion, blah, blah, blah. To answer McMaster, I have a 1080p in my living room, a 4K TV in my other room, so maybe that's why I get confused, but I do have a 4K TV. My computer runs 4K on its screen, and my uh, my gaming room TV is 4K, the one I'm playing on now. But, like I said, with an Elgato 1080p, I cannot play in 4K. So, it's rendered pointless at that point, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. It's just a, it's an expensive purchase if you guys get what I mean. So I would love to get a 4K Elgato, but we will see when the day comes. For now, let's just keep enjoying gaming. I ain't gonna stop gaming over not having a 4K Elgato, but I do wanna. I would love to finish out this game in 4K. If not, move on the 4K for the DLCs. And that'd actually be a cool thing because then we could be like, oh, yeah, we did the main game in 1080p, and here's you know the DLC in 4K, so you guys can compare the graphic, you know, quality between the games, or the streams. You gotta save up to answer chat, man. That's why I can't get it either, but... <laughs> gotta worry about the day-to-day -day bills, but I definitely want a 4K Elgato. But it's not worth, uh... buying it if you can't, because then you just screw yourself over. I learned that the hard way through my younger years.
So there's one inside of there. I knew there was another one here, I had a feeling. Forty-five minutes, uh... Right. Forty-five to fifty minutes left, guys. So. Dude, go down the hole, please. <laughs> Jeez Louise, man. He's like, Ooh. Ooh. You're like, go down the hall. And the answer, McMaster, uh, yeah, I definitely saw your picks, man. They were pretty good keep up the work, you know, it takes time to get good at, you know, before the picks, but you did a pretty good job, man, so, I don't know how much you enjoy the game, but uh, definitely something I'd recommend playing thoroughly if you uh, are in the cars and racing at all, take the time to learn the game, you know, you can turn on the assist and put on low difficulty and, you know, obviously increase difficulty and turn off assist as you play, like, you can have traction stability on and driving line on and rewind on and like cosmetic only and you know through time you can up the drive guitars from like beginner to you know second tier third tier you can turn off the traction control if you want a little bit more slide in your turns you know stability and stuff if you want to get you know you turn off traction stability when you're going to get max power down on the ground but also when you put max power down on the ground obviously you also risk crashing oh god look at this Is that a fucking bobcat that's a lynx That'd be a crazy animal to hunt for. Something like that. Mario Kart's an awesome game. I uh, started Mario Kart on Nintendo 64, man, so I go way back in time compared to when you started. <laughs> You're Mario Kart 8, I'm on like Mario Kart, like, the second one ever made, I think. The first one was on, like, SNES, right? Something like that. To answer the sauce, uh, yeah, the game auto saves, but I also make manual saves to be safe. That's the issue I actually had with Watch Dogs Legion. Is uh, the auto save feature was broken, so it just screwed my screwed me over, and uh, that's why I stopped playing it. I would lose like an hour or two every t single time we would stream it. We lose one to two hours. So it's uh, kind of annoying. And nice McMaster, uh, yeah, that's another thing you could do, I don't know, yeah, I know you're a COD player, McMaster is big on Call of Duty and stuff, but if you're in all types of games, that's kind of what I did, achievements gave me something to do, not too far off, you know, from what you're trying to do, just trying to, uh, keep busy, get through these times that we're all, you know, dealing with and blah, 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 not to go too crazy, but. Achievement hunting is a great way to keep yourself busy, as I have kept myself busy for this long and still could easily spend a life, you know, another, you know, 20 years just grinding achievements. <laughs> if I really wanted to. I mean, hey, as long as the channel exists and we keep growing, I'm happy to keep it around, so. Appreciate all your support, guys, and hopefully we'll be able to take this channel to the next level at some point. I don't think we can carry it in. We have to find one down here, I guess. Uh, yeah, sauce. I mean, trophy hunting. Oh, God. Can definitely, uh... Gain your attention, I mean... I'm a pretty, uh, I ain't uh, addicted to trophy hunting, but I'm definitely, you know, very, very much so into it. No. Out. Out. <laughs> I 
Maybe we have to carry something in through the wall, I don't know. Appreciate the six likes, by the way. For the last 45 minutes, let's see what we can do. I'm going to try and get as much done of this region as possible, guys. But with the uh, the grind, and it's, again, like I, like I said earlier, it's not a factor of the game being bad or boring. It's the factor that the grind of doing collectibles in any game has, a, you know, it weighs down on you and you usually get more bored from it. It's a grind, and it's getting to me, but uh, I'm going to keep pushing because perseverance is number one. If you want to, you know, pull through on a lot of these higher difficulty, you know, length games. Right now we're looking for one of those explosive barrels that we can use. Appreciate the comment and uh, I have no, there's no percentage number in this game man, unfortunately. Uh, if you're talking about achievements, I'm not really achievement hunting right now. I'm only at 150, so 15%. I'm doing the tedious, long achievements up front that take, you know, 20 hours, 30 hours now instead of later. So I won't see these achievements pop up for a while, but we will start slamming out achievements with time for sure because they're going to start popping left and right as we uh, complete more and more regions because we're, you know, completing achievements while we do the regions. Just we're not popping them because they're bigger achievements. They're like, you know, collect this, type of this, do this, do that. So, uh... Yeah, you get the idea. You can easily, you know, jump two, three hundred gamer score in a game like this in like an afternoon if you, uh, you know, know what you're doing. Because a lot of it's just fluff. It's like do this, do that, get kills this way, get kills that way. Where the hell are these damn things that I need? I need an explosive canister, but I can't find one anywhere at all. Maybe all the way up there, on top of there or something. So I wouldn't be surprised. It seems like the type of place Assassin's Creed would want to put it. We shall find out. Is it up here? Probably is. Nope. Surprisingly, it's not. What? Dark spirits torment this land. I experience torment to land, but I need the f explosive barrel to get rid of him. So where is it? The flying heck is it? What do you see? To answer chat, yeah, I can't really answer my favorite video game question. There's too many awesome games out there, and they're all so different. You know, I can't compare Assassin's Creed and Call of Duty and Forza. They're just not the same at all. Just like when you go to the movies. I mean, when you watch the movie rewards, they have, like, movies. They'll be, like, best drama, best comedy. That's how I feel about video games. I don't feel like they should be piled together in the same judgment. Yes, there can be the best game of the year, best game overall, but for me, I can't really tell you off the top of my head what my favorite game is. That's very, 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 very tough. I can say like Assassin's Creed series, GTA 5 series, Battlefield series, Call of Duty series, Bioshock series, all kind of you know series that are in my top uh, preference for sure. This is so stupid. Where is the damn thing I need, bro? Why do you guys hide it so hard? I just want it. Where are we at? I'm gonna look at this real quick. Oh god, that was my phone dropping like three inches, but sounds like it dropped a mile because it's wood floors in my room here, so it doesn't help. Uh, so what the fuck is this place? Excuse my language. I'm trying to figure out what's up.
bear with me, guys. Do do do. One sec, guys. I found a guide for uh, exactly what I'm doing right now. And what I'm trying to do is see what they recommend for this. Let's see. Do do do. Which one is it? It's not that. I believe it's this one, or no, is it not? Nope, it's not that one either. I think it's this one right here. They recommend bringing... They don't really talk about where the hell I'm supposed to get the explosive from. I'm going to go back in the ground and check again to see if, make sure I didn't miss it and somehow, you know, not find it down here. Favorite Assassin's Creed game? That's a really tough one, man. Uh, keep putting me on the spot. What the heck? I'm just kidding, but uh, it's kind of hard to beat AC2. AC2 could easily be my favorite one but I I'm gonna replay it on stream in the near future I played it like 10 years ago or whatever so I can't it's hard to compare it to Valhalla because Assassin's Creed 2 and Valhalla are completely different games it's no longer you know it's not the same Assassin's Creed if you get what I'm saying this is no longer Assassin's Creed for what it was known for the longest time it is a completely different game now and it's not a bad thing So what is your first favorite video game? Uh, I think in my younger years, Super Mario 64 was probably... Pokemon, that'd be a tough one, man. Uh, if I talk about SNES, I can't really tell you. I was so young when I played SNES that I was, you know, I was really, really young. Oh, God, I fucked up and dropped it, of course. Something is not right. But uh, SNES, easily... Yeah, N64 era, Pokemon Red and uh, Super Mario 64 were my two favorite choices. See if we can go through now with the uh, jump through. Are you kidding me, yo? The gas just spawns back in. Pick the fucking thing up, bro. Thank you. What are you doing? Need to be careful here. <laughs> Need for Speed Payback. I did play Need for Speed back in the day in my younger years. Uh, I played. I think my. I never played the original Need for Speed, but I did play. I think. I think I got in Need for Speed with like, uh, in like the PS2 era. So way back in the day, man. You know, I played Most Wanted. I played Most Wanted One and Two. I played uh, Underground One and Two. I played The Run. 
I don't know if we ever streamed any Need for Speed games on the channel. I did do Most Wanted a while back, but I don't know if I did it on stream or not. They did the remaster, the, the uh, new Need for Speed, the, uh, they remastered that Need for Speed Most Wanted or whatever. Knight's been trying to get me to get it for a while now. It's cross-play. I might consider it, but for right now, uh, with Hitman 3 coming out on Wednesday, I uh, reserve my gaming funds for that as of right now. Appreciate all the likes and definitely uh, appreciate the support, guys, and glad you enjoy the stream. As much as I hate to disappoint, we are approximately 30 minutes away from the end. 4.15 on the clock is what I want to see, 4 hours, 15 minutes, and we're like maybe 30 minutes plus a few at most from that. So. from the ruins. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely answer sauce. I want to stream all those old games, man. Need for Speed, old Assassin's Creed, all Call of Duties. Problem is, I can't realistically, you know, dive into this stuff. One, because we have so many new games coming out at this current time, or that we're working on already, and two, channel isn't big enough to warrant, you know, expansion. If I could, trust me, I would, but I mean, honestly, if I could expand the channel right now, I'd probably just add more Assassin's Creed and try and get this done so we can free up the space, because we could free up a lot, a lot of stream time each week to put towards, you know, some old school games and stuff. And the old school games are all much shorter than the new games. This game's like 100 hours, this AC2 is probably like 30 hours, 20 to 30, you know what I mean? So, there's a drastic difference in game length for the average game in the day back in the day compared to now so i could complete four or five six maybe even 10 to 20 games in the amount of time it takes you to beat this one game for a platinum or thousand gamer score if you know what i mean so it all depends what game it is blah 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 but i guarantee for the amount of time you put in the valhalla for a full completion you could easily complete multiple of the original assassin's creed maybe two brotherhood revelations and still have time to you know waste if i'm not mistaken I'm not supposed to be doing missions, but this is showing like right here. I'm just gonna go over there and do it. We're here for collectibles. All right, come on, game, give me my mount. Turn that off because I'm not doing the mission right now. Anybody else?
In answer chat, games be changing over the years. They're getting more complex, but there's good you know, pros and cons to it, just like anything else. You know, you used to hop in a game, play straight, you know, through the levels. That would be it. Nowadays, there's like the main missions, the side missions, the collectibles, the the hidden Easter eggs. But in my view, it's not a bad thing. Appreciate all the support and all six likes, and we've had quite a few people hanging out here. Uh, I'm doing my best to keep up with chat, but I gotta make sure I keep a balance of active gameplay going as well. So, do my best to keep up with you guys, and I appreciate all the support as well. While we have uh, just under 30 minutes left, it can't come any sooner and not in a bad way as I already mentioned. Just I am fried from collectible grinding. It is, it, ha it takes a toll for sure. I wasn't even trying to go to Sigurd, but apparently we just walked up on him. And here's Eivor. Ah, uh, you timed things well. The Holy Woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Albanes Monastery, just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me. Your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Eatman into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. I have already plundered St. Albanes Abbey and lifted its treasures from nave to crypt. I saw no prisoners of note. She is there. I know it. And she is the most valuable treasure of them all. Eivor, there was a time when you would follow me without question. Because we trusted one another. Because you knew I would never lead you into folly. Never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd. You know I would never betray you. Y your trust in me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Gidrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. When you raided St. Albanes, are you sure you saw nothing? No crypts? No prisoners? Nothing I can recall for certain. I mean, I'm trying to do the mission right now. The hell, man. This is not my plan. To do no mission. So I'm about to just continue on with what I'm doing and have them follow me. Because I don't really care if they follow me. <laughs> Either way, I hope everyone enjoys the stream in our final stretch. I am getting hungry. I'm not eating for at least an hour and a half, plus minus. So. Explosive things anywhere around here. What do we know of this woman? This very is heavily guarded. She appears to be the twenty. called her a heretic. All the better for us. She's clearly someone who knows her own mind.
check and chat. I don't see anything new. It's doing a stretch. We're in that final uh, 20 to 25 minutes, guys. I am so fried. I just. I don't want to cut early on you guys, so I'm trying not to. This has been a long stream. The grind in this game is very real. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. I'm getting hungry. I'm getting tired. Definitely they bugged or something, it won't let me uh won't let me do that. <laughs> this is exhausting, guys. But every piece of progress we make is going to get us eventually to where we're trying to get to.
So I find stuck. This area is off limits. Let me find a way in. I think I'm just gonna motion forward an early exit today, guys. I'm just feeling I'm so Assassin's Creeded out right now from uh, just grinding around the map, and now we're getting we're hitting a roadblock. I just really do not feel like dealing with it. We finished out East Anglia, everything except one thing, guys. It was a pain in the ass. We dealt with all those fights and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, I wish it was easier to get, but I think I'm just gonna call it at the four hour mark. I'm like I said, I'm just beat. And I'm getting hungry, and I didn't sleep well. It's all catching up with me, so let's go ahead and uh, motion forward an early exit from today's session. While I'm disappointed that I, uh, I'm cutting it short, I promise you guys I will work to think how we can get this game up. Even if we get an extra you know, two hours a week and get three streams of ACV a week, I will do that. But uh, no guarantees till we see what happens. One step at a time. So real quick, let's uh, upgrade some stuff. All right, we upgraded that. There's not much else to it today, guys. Uh, I'm gonna save and go through our supporter screens and get off. I really need to uh, just go take it easy. So I'm sorry for cutting early on you guys. I'm sorry it wasn't the full stream. You know, we might have gotten a few more things done. We are obviously not completing it, so I guess it doesn't really matter at that point, but. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Definitely had a good time, and uh, yeah, definitely going to continue to grind this game out. Every day counts, but we need a lot more time, you know, to get this game done to the extent I'm looking to get it done. So uh, let's go ahead and start closing out. Like I said, I'm sorry, guys. I was going to go till 6.30. We're like 12 minutes early or something like that. I'm just, I'm fried from ACV today. So we're going to go ahead and let that be the end of our stream. I just made this save at a, a minute ago, 57 hours in, so around 40 to 45 hours left in our playthrough, which means an insane amount of time, you know, another 10 weeks or whatever it'll be, but if we can make it six hours of stream for ACV instead of four per week, I could probably knock it out, you know, a little bit quicker, so I'll definitely see what I can do. This week is booked because Hitman 3 comes out Wednesday, but next week I'll try and see if I can get Valhalla back in on uh, three to four times a week, but no guarantees. Hitman 3 is definitely making its way on our schedule, and it's here to stay, as it's brand new starting Wednesday. So that is that. Thanks to anybody who watched. We had a uh, chat exploded today. I tried my best to keep up with it. Sorry if I missed anybody. I'm going to go over our supporter screen, and I'm going to hop off. So shout out to BFG Weekly Vlogs, BBT on Patreon, BFG Weekly Vlogs, BBT J Smoke on Membership, and BFG Weekly Vlogs, brought these in, Farce K, J Smoke on Caster, and Strange All Super Chat. Appreciate the support. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Like and sub. I will see you guys tomorrow. We have Minecraft Dungeons, Howling Peak, starting uh, hopefully by noonish. 
noon till 2, and then uh, 3.30 to 5.30, something along those lines, plus or minus. On the stream numbers, can't guarantee that it'll be exactly what it'll be, but that's the best I can do for now with what I know on how my day is going to go tomorrow. Otherwise, guys, the rest of the week should be pretty set. Hopefully nothing else has to change. The, uh, the schedule will be on the Discord and website tonight. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Till then, peace out.